Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic cell cycle and division. Today, we'll see the stages of cell cycle and the main events related to it. At the end of the video, few questions related to the topic will also be discussed. So make sure you watch the complete video. Before getting into the video, I'd like to thank everyone for all the support. It takes a lot of time and effort to make each of these videos and I'm trying my best to make the videos as interesting as possible and upload on a continuous basis. The subscriptions keep me motivated to create more content. Okay, so let's start the video. I hope you remember how you used to imagine the cell division in childhood that one cell simply divides to form two cells. Well, the cell division that we are going to study is a lot more complex process and involves several events. But this simplified version of cell division is actually the most primitive method which developed in the initial and simple forms of life. This type of division is called amitosis or direct cell division which is commonly seen in bacteria and protozoans but also in few cells of higher organisms. Here the cell membrane as well as the nucleus if it is present simply pinches off and divides into two. All the eukaryotes show all type of cell division that is amitosis, mitosis as well as meiosis but the most common type of division is mitosis. So how we define the cell cycle? It is the sequence of events that are responsible for carrying out the division of cells. As mitosis results in formation of two identical cells from a single parent cell, all the cell organelles has to be doubled. The genetic material DNA which contains all the information of the cell has also to be multiplied before parent cell splits into two individual cells. As a lot is happening during this process, the cell cycle is divided into two phases that is interphase and M phase. The first phase interphase is the period in which the cell prepares itself for division, hence also called preparatory phase. Apart from increase in size of the cell, no external changes are visible, so it is also called resting phase. But the name is deceptive as interphase is metabolically the most active phase of the cell cycle. It lasts for around 95% duration of the cell cycle. Thus for the ease of study, interphase is divided into three substages. The G1 phase or growth phase 1, the S phase or the synthetic phase, G2 phase, growth phase 2. The second phase is M phase during which the actual division of cell occurs. There are two main events. First is the division of nucleus called karyokinesis and second is division of cytoplasm called cytokinesis. Karyokinesis on the basis of events is further divided into four stages prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. The main event of G1 phase is the doubling of most of the cell organelles. The S phase involves replication of DNA which results in doubling of amount of DNA in parent cell. The centrioles are also doubled during the S phase. The G2 phase involves doubling of remaining cell organelles like mitochondria, chloroplasts and Golgi. The main events of the prophase are condensation of chromatin to form chromosomes, movement of centrioles towards opposite ends, formation of astral rays around the centrioles, disappearance of the nuclear envelope, nucleolus as well as the cell organelles. During metaphase, the chromosomes are aligned to the equator of the cell. This results in the formation of a metaphasic plate. Spindle fibers from both the ends attaches to the proteinaceous disc of the chromosome called kinetochore. The next stage is anaphase. In this phase, spindle fibers shorten which results in splitting of centromere and movement of chromatids towards the pole. Anaphase completes when chromatid or the new chromosomes reaches the poles. The last phase is the telophase during which nuclear envelope is formed at each pole, nucleolus and cell organelles reappear. The event that follows is the division of cytoplasm called cytokinesis. This occurs by formation of a contractile ring of protein at the equator of the cell. As a result, the cell membrane constricts and finally the two daughter cells are formed. Now let's discuss a question related to cell cycle. If a diploid cell consists of two chromosomes in G1 stage and amount of DNA is 40 picogram, then find the number of chromosomes, number of chromatids and amount of DNA at the end of each phase of cell cycle. So during the G1 phase, the number of chromosomes will remain 2, the number of chromatids will also remain 2 and the amount of DNA will remain 40 picogram. But during the S phase, as DNA replication occurs, amount of DNA will be doubled, number of 
chromatids will also double but the number of chromosome will remain same so number of chromosome will be 2 number of chromatids will become 4 and amount of dna will become 80 picogram the same numbers will be maintained during the G2 phase, the pro phase, as well as the meta phase. But during ana phase, since the centromere splits, so as a result, the number of chromosomes, number of chromatids and amount of DNA becomes half as half of the content moves at each pole. So the number of chromosomes becomes 2, number of chromatids becomes 2, the amount of DNA becomes 40 picogram. Same is maintained in the case of telophase. So that is all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If there are any queries related to this topic, you can ask it in the comment section below. And also I have attached handwritten notes of this topic that you can find and download it from the description below.